Hi guys, it's another video. Happy Wednesday. I'm talking low because I don't want people to think I'm talking to myself, which they already do, but that's fine. And I'm laughing hysterical over here because every time somebody passes, I shut the phone off because they're all staring at me like, uh, are you okay? <laughs> Sorry, it's just too funny. Um, so here's another piece of me, my life, my, my past. Again, these little pieces that I give out will lead up to the awakening when it started and hopefully you guys are okay with me skipping around on um, on ages and things like that it's just whatever I remember to discuss I just start discussing like today will be about my last ex my son's father I have three sons two are from a prior um, relationship that my um, we, we never married but we were we were really good friends. He passed away last year, and you know, we still remained very good friends when we split. And I've been thinking about him a lot too, because it's kind of, it's very sad that he left, and it's weird. But I do know he's not, you know, gone, gone. I know he's in heaven, and I know he's with his father and my mom and everybody. So I was just thinking about him today. And that's my twin's dad, who just passed away. So that's another thing that's uh, happened not too long ago. Um, okay, so my recent ex. Um, so when I was 30, I moved out to Nebraska to be with him, start a new life. I had taken my twins and, you know, we were all very happy. My mother came, I set her up an apartment. It was her first apartment ever because she was used to living with me. And uh, people, you know, she was never alone. So this was like her first apartment. And, it, you know, she was just so happy before she passed away. And that's what makes me happy. Um, so I got married. Thought I was in love. I mean, it really felt like I was in love. I mean, really, truly. And I, it wasn't... Okay, so I got pregnant rather quickly. But, you know, as time went on, I lost her. She was a girl. I did lose her. And that devastated me, so then I kept trying to have another one, because I, I wanted what I lost. It was in my mind. And so then I got pregnant with my last son. And, you know, again, happy, started a new life. And let me just, ref let me just make sure I say that um, with my twin's dad, you know, he was, a, he was a good guy, and we did get along, but we weren't meant for each other. We just, we just weren't meant for each other in a love thing if that makes sense I hope everybody understands what I'm trying to say because I didn't hate him so I just wanted to make sure I clarified that so so then I, I gave birth to my last son and I got real sick um, I had ignored staph infection which the doctors did not diagnose and I was like it felt like I was dying and I you know, but I kept taking care of my kids, and I kept doing what I had to do, and I, I swear to you, sometimes it felt like I just had to fall on the floor. That's how sick I was. Finally, they have to doctor, the doctor, the doctor, because I went to my regular doctor. They took a, um, with a Q-tip, I forgot what you call that. Um, well, they scraped the C-section with the Q-tip for, oh, I, I don't remember what you call that. Anyway, I never got the results back, so I never said nothing. But then when I finally found a doctor to help me, it came back that I had ignored staph infection. More than multiple, more than one strain. So this doctor took me in, put me in immediately into the hospital, gave me a stomach surgery, removed um, a lot of stuff. I asked him what he removed. He said junk. I went and got the, the records. And what I read was he removed... Uh, it. it said this hair bearing tan skin eclipse shapes that, that sounded like another baby to me but everybody was so hush hush because you know how these doctors are so I finished with that I come back a little while I'm sick again stomach pain again needless to say long story short I ended up with five stomach surgeries after my last son was born it was a nightmare from hell what I went through. I even had to walk around with IV in my arm for six weeks and drains coming out of each side of my, my hips. It was like a nightmare. Finally, that's all done. You know, I'm finally okay. I'm walking. Something else happens. They tell me that I have um, fibromyalgia, lupus, this, that. 
you know what? I'm not listening to any of you, is my attitude. I'm gonna heal my damn self. That was my attitude. And you know what? I know this is gonna sound crazy, but with the help of the universe, I threw all my medication in the garbage and I started walking perfect and the pain started disappearing. I won't lie, I get pain here and there, but I meditate and I do angel callings and I do a lot of things just so I don't have to douse myself with a million medications. So as I'm going through all this, I didn't, I, I'm paying my phone bill one day and, and all of a sudden I see this number on my bill over and over and over. So I call it and it's a woman. Long story short, my husband was cheating like the first year of the marriage and my son was just born. You know what? I, I might be off on times, but no matter how you slice and dice it, he was cheating on me real quick. And my, my son was newborn, so it was like, whoa, what? So I wanted him out. I wanted him to leave. He begged me to stay. Da, 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 da. I let him stay. But I never trusted him again, ever. As time went on, I noticed clues of him cheating over and over and over. But you know what? I had a baby. I had to stay. I had nowhere to go. My mother's there. All of a sudden, my mother gets sick with cancer. It's like, you know, I'm jumping, but this is the kind of crap that went on. And a um, few times, he was physical with me. One time, he got physical in front of my children. That is when I said, okay, you know what? I'm not dealing with this anymore. I've been through this in my life. I'm not dealing with this again. I, I decided I'm coming back to New Jersey. So, he comes back with me. I, we were staying in this one uh, apartment. He ended up leaving, coming into another apartment in another town where my ex actually owned. And I hope I'm not losing anybody because I know I'm like all over the place. Anyway, so I'm in the other apartment. He's here where my ex owns. Okay, well... Do I get into that part yet, or should I wait on that part? Uh, I'll just say it now. So, it was getting harder and harder to keep up with the apartment, being I haven't worked in so long with my stomach surgeries and everything else that was going on. But the girl that I had as a roommate wasn't doing her part. So, another long story short, I lost everything I owned, everything, my whole life. I really thought that that was it. I'm about to become homeless. So... I ended up coming to the ex's apartment, having to stay with him. You know, I believe in life, sometimes you can't end things till it's finished, karma-wise, and I believe that's what happened here. So, about, I'm gonna say five years already? Five years ago? He up and left me and my son here with no money, nothing. Just left. Came in one day, took his stuff, and left. So, I found out he was living two blocks away with a new woman. Um, we got in contact. He started giving me a measly uh, $300 a month. I was accepting it. I didn't say anything. I started cleaning homes. I started doing what I had to do. Kept eating crap. Never did it, said a word. And then all of a sudden, we ended up going to court. And I ended up getting more than what he was giving me. Way more. Alimony. The works. That day, that last day of court three years ago, was the last time we ever saw him. My son has not seen his father in three years. So, that's that part of the story. And that part of the story, what I'm trying to say is... Um, you know, life has a lot of hard things that we go through. And... You know, it's not easy, but I'm going to say something. Sometimes on this journey, you got to get through the crap to get to the gold. And if you let loose and flow with the universal signs and the universal messages, you will see that there is something beautiful waiting for you. You know, a lot of people's eyes are closed. They don't want to see that there is something more out there and something guiding you. Because there is. There is. You know, I... I was one of those people too that get up, do this, do that, do this, let's do the same thing every freaking day. And, you know, I, I knew a lot of things back then, but then when I opened up fully, it's really miraculous and amazing. And I really hope that when I'm to the awakening part of the story, 
you can all, you know, start opening up and enjoying the universal guidance because it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I don't know if this story is all jumbled all over. I'm going to have to re-listen, but I hope it's okay. I hope everybody gets the gist of what I'm saying because the next story will probably be about, um, well, maybe I'll start getting into the awakening because it's a pretty interesting story. All right, YouTube, I will talk to you next vlog. Have a great day.